can I say? I have no idea what happened there, but life goes on, the life goes on, and we continue the journey. Hey guys, don't know what happened there. I was in the middle of getting really excited and really in the middle of just going with it, but then don't know what happened. Electricity gone, current gone, or something like that. <laughs> you know? And as a result of the idea what was that Donovan? <laughs> I, I think well, I, I would only attest that it is because of the power that you're coming with. We have to believe that. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely Miss. We have to believe. <laughs> and I, I see all I see all these things started to spin, you know what I'm trying to say. You know? yeah. And wow you, you didn't make any sound, did you? You didn't make any sound. You didn't say anything out of context that Facebook or YouTube is saying no. you're gonna be challenging them. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> you, you, you don't have the new name or the new um, for Facebook. The new name for Facebook. You don't have that. That's, you don't have those secrets. <laughs> no yeah, secrets. No secrets. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> because that that is that is that, that is something that they will do. You know, because they're gonna say Donovan has all the secrets or so. You know, I'm trying to say. You know. <laughs> anyway, guys, how are you doing? We're doing great. Blessed yeah, great. and highly favored and favored. Flavored, yes. But of course, you know, we're talking sip. You know, one of the saying is that you got to be drinking something. You know what I mean? I, 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 I trust you guys. Oh, wow. Oh, sugar, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys, you guys come prepare. Cheers. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I've got to start this with something else. Hold it up again. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> you got to get it with the music, you know? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> listen, well, well, listen, the good thing about it is that you guys are in the UK. You know, we're all in the UK here. And, um, and ladies and gentlemen, one of the, the, let me just start again because I, I did an opening earlier and the opening has just gone. <laughs> all the fantastic <laughs> opening, my, you know, with my glass. Listen, man. I even had all my shades, man. I had all my. Sh I started it off awesome. I even had all my shades. You know, look at that. I had all my shades for tonight. Started off like this, and that's all gone. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but there's something that I'm seeing here on my thing. It says live. Live means to say that you just have to keep going on no matter what. Even if something stops or interrupts the process, you got to keep going on. Now, Donovan and Lisa, we are in the throes of going to Christmas, and the Prime Minister and the Health Secretary is saying that there could be a pending lockdown. You know, you know the lockdown which came recently will throw people completely off the curve, you know, people who are not able to, like, work from home, people who are not doing things online, people who are actually have to physically go to their workplace, and the, the whole furlough system even fell through the crack. You know, um, what, what's your what's your thoughts on that? I mean, uh, well, first of all, tell us what you guys do. Yeah. 
Wow. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, yes, the, the thought is, and, and it's just it's actually what you actually say. Well, anyway, my name is Donovan Smart. Hello, Mr. Smart. Yep. Um, we are solution providers. And um, you know what? Silbon, correct. Um, life means life always going yes. on. Yep. And with while life is actually going on, we have to ask the people, how well are you prepared? Literally, how well are you prepared? Because the world is so much is full of so much uncertainty right now. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, yep. We know people have lose their jobs. They have the experience of losing their jobs. You know, um, incomes get affected. But what is the process they have learned from it? So ask yourself the question: What is the process that you have learned from it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, so basically, we have to be prepared in case anything changes direction. And with, um, with with the whole overview with lockdown, um, the introduction of Mr. and Mrs. COVID moving to live in our planet, <laughs> that's how we say it. <laughs> you know, it, it changed a lot of things in direction. And people have to be aware. We all as a community have to make people aware that the world has literally changed direction in all areas of our lives, in our family lives, mm. most um, importantly in our financial lives. Yeah. And although um, we're getting back into the state of recovery, um, anything is possible. Yep. Anything is possible. So if we can basically, uh, or we get into learn that there could be other, um, could be other lockdowns uh, possibly coming, um, we have to make sure and be prepared this rounds. Yep. And um, basically, you know what? I would tell, tell people, how well are you prepared again? Why? Because in this, this year, it was a, a, a ups and down year for my wife and myself. And literally, I believe in physical work. And we know, we know a whole lot of people believe in the physical. You know, they go to have real jobs. They have real businesses with bricks and mortar, yep, and stuff. But now, as you will move into a digital direction, you have to get yourself grounded and educated, yeah, mm. to learn the digital digital direction the digital economy of the earth yeah is, 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 um, is, is, is that the way is that the way how you're seeing things are moving forward or well, that's the way how things will be um the whole digital world um as you alluding to uh Donovan. yes yes surely that's how it's actually going to because you can see now um covid when everybody was home at lockdown it changed a lot of things so a lot of people that um forced now to learn things online to get digital yeah all right and um the new the new economy is the internet yeah the new money yeah the new money too is crypto yeah and the new business is people among us yeah and i think it happens to have that it will actually give um put power back in people's hands yes. yeah you know the situation is not a bad situation. What my wife and I learned from it is that it's putting power back in the people's hands. Yes, 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 yes. But but the, the, one of the things is, um, you know, even before the whole advent of COVID and the whole advent of this, lots of people have been very skeptical of this other world, this other alternative world, which seems to be the one which is, taking precedent now because of recent days, persons who had Bitcoin, they actually was worried because it dipped. But then at the same time, if people were just focused, they would have actually reaping rewards today because it just went right back up eventually. Yes, and that's true, um, Silbon. Yes, that is true, um, everyone. Um, because we live in a world up and down, up and down. And you have to choose. Um, the way to get around that is choose to listen to the experience. And trust me, the experience will have ups and downs too. All right? For example, Bitcoin. I remember missing it out in 2014. It's a story I always talk mm -hmm. when it came and um, I was skeptical about it. And I said, look, this all is selling me a piece of electricity that is going to be worth thousands of or millions of dollars. I was like, no, this is unbelievable. Yep. And I had the opportunity missing it. Where could I get 500 Bitcoins for 500 pounds, you know? Mm. And now that is a big cost because of skepticism and not being willing to humble to learn. Yep. And embrace. And embrace. To embrace and learn. And I think what is happening, most people... Uh, we see now, there, you see, every day there is technology that is coming out faster 
smarter and cheaper. And when you learn it, it's, it's the simplicity to learn and it will give you to the ability to earn maybe more than your entire lifetime. Mm. Yeah. And but the reason why the world is 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 will get into a lot of trouble is because people is still hanging on and have stubborn beliefs in old systems and old systems is becoming obsolete now. You understand? Mm. Um not having the willingness to learn the new systems. So what what so what are you I mean, because you, you talk a lot about solutions, solutions. And and solutions is finding the answers to the world crisis of today. Um, people will sometimes be uh, in the whole lockdown period and the whole COVID, they're feeling disheartened. But yet at the same time, you are saying there's solution. What are some of the, the solutions that you have found that have been helping people at the same time? All right, we have, yes, a lot of solutions. And trust me, a lot of solutions has come, um, literally come to us. So one solution is, let's focus on wrong income. Yeah. Um, one of the solutions is now, ladies and gentlemen, you may w- be worried about your income. You may w- be worried what about you going to do. You have your house. You're not in a job. You have to look. One um, solution is crowdfunding. Digital crowdfunding now is a big, big thing. Now, most people do not know about it, but that is one of the the solutions yeah okay Mm. and it actually have products and services now that you can actually um do online and it will actually provide big solutions as well yeah um another big solution that 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 is is coming into the united kingdom to introducing by lisa and myself is that for years crime cannot be solved and we got the you know a big solution now that um where you can actually help reduce crime, imagine this, yes. but yet you can, you can have earnings, you know, and, um, you know, all these, there are things out there because technology and the internet is making it smarter and cheaper. It's just people and have better. to, and better. Mm-hmm. It's just people have to break, um, embrace it, as Lisa Smart say, embrace it, and always, always associate, this is it, associate with the people who have the experience, yeah, yeah? because they will, they will point you in the right direction. There, yeah. There's something you mentioned a while ago about crime and making money yes. out of, uh, well, the solutions of dealing with crime. And we, we spoke about this. I, I love to use this to sort of shed some light because in Jamaica of recent days, and people from Jamaica will always tune into this, uh, the recent days there are two girls which were abducted. Yes. And one of the things which was a calamity was how can communities help? How can communities play a part in the whole process in crime fighting, in supporting and finding their own children? Because the, the, the police will always come after, not immediately, but sometime after when nothing's happened. But how can the community at the same time be proactive, like almost immediately? There's something new which, which started, isn't it? Yes, yes. Eventually, it's, it's, it's literally new, ladies and gentlemen. And right now, we literally have to use technology to our advantage, yeah? And seeing that the, the two girls got killed in London and then two girls get abducted in Jamaica, one thing everybody or mostly everybody will have is a mobile device or some form of digital device, yes. okay? Um, crime don't happen in the police station. Crimes happen in the community, yes. So if we get now, uh, um, you know, so what we have now, the solution now that putting an app on your device, which is connected by the whole community, because everybody will be looking out to eat with each other in the com- for each other mm-hmm. in that community. So imagine you have a community, each each one has a device. Yep, yeah? they have a, a a beautiful app. Yeah, yes, on the phone. Yep, yeah? which they 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 have. And everybody have that, and it's connected to everybody, but yet it's also connected to your emergency your emergency services, right? Yes. Okay? You have an app like this, yeah? And anytime danger happens, you can actually press live help, and then it alerts the community that somebody's in danger, but yet alert the emergency services. And, and the community expand all over the world. Yes, the community. Different ex- countries are coming on board, and everybody will find out. Everywhere. Yes. Everybody's phone will be alerted, so yes. it cannot be missed. So it cannot be missed. So this is where we're getting smarter. You see, a lot of people trying to actually develop technologies, but it's too old-fashioned. We need something that could be fast, yes. could be effective, yeah, and actually 
um, reduce crime and actually would paint a bigger picture, you know, literally a bigger picture, all right? Because time, um, um, basically, you go, as, as, let's say a piece of crime happening, um, it, time you take to call the police to get to, to, to the dispatch, to the, the location, then for the police to get in the car. If they have this, it's each and every one directly have, have an app, yeah, that can actually give you the direct source of information, yeah, it will actually benefit our community much, much better. And this is actually um, solutions now that is actually coming. And one have to just literally embrace new technology. Let, let's, let's look at three persons. Um, is, this, is it the Amazon guy, Bezos? Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos Richard yeah. Branson and Mark Zuckerberg. Let's look at Mark Zuckerberg. Yes. They all came in because they wanted to sort out the solution, isn't it? What was Mark Zuckerberg? Mark yes. Zuckerberg, he wanted to get people talking and get a connection. Yes, correct. It, was it about... Yes. Do you think he was thinking... Yes, think, remember Mark Zuckerberg? Do you think he was thinking about money initially? <laughs> no, and this is where 95% of the world actually gets it wrong. The thing is money, but no, it's vision. Yes. Is vision, passion, or passion of having a vision to provide solutions, yes. and that is what all, everybody has in 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 um all these the all the all like Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson is providing a service or a solution. Yep, and um that is that is the the, the vision that we are on um solution providers. Yep. So they had a, so Mark Zuckerberg had a solution that you know what phone calls was very very costly. Yeah, back then, landline phones, those rotary phones, yeah. So he had a vision where he could have a computer screen, an internet browser, where everybody could, could communicate all over the world in real time, yeah. Yeah, just Bezos start off with books. Yes, he start off with books because, you know, everybody needs books. books. Yes. And, you know, this, yes, the going to a bookstore could be quite um, tedious at some time. Yeah. So why have it, you know, online using the internet, yeah. And then he used that to analyze what people want, what other solutions people want. So it start off with books, yes. but now it it, it he study. Okay, they buy books. What next they want? They want toys for the children, mm -hmm. clothes. Yeah, and that is how one solution comes into the next. And this is what um, Lisa and myself we do. We always teach the economy that in order to have things flowing good, you must have multiple streams of income and solutions. So, so the saying which parents jumping to us many times is like get a get a job get a good job um work nine to five uh they always say you're a jack of trades and master of none but it's a new world order whereby it is advisable to be a master of more than one trade isn't it a more art yes yes yes, yes correct it's correct you know yes correct you want to elaborate on that <laughs> Really yes, so basically, um, yes, so you have, and that's all this, and you know, uh, Lisa and myself, we, for years, we have been telling people that ever since 2012, we say, you know what, one day, and we say, you know, one day was back then, yeah, and we say we will provide people with so much different solutions that all the solutions in the house, even from your products and services, will bring income instead of taking out income. Because we're in the quiet economy. What is the quiet economy? The quiet economy is that we're supporting all these big businesses. And of course, something like Amazon, Apple and stuff, where all our income literally goes out yeah, to these big companies, but it does not come back into the community. So now we basically have to switch directions now and have multiple streams, you know. And you know what? We, well, we as believers, yeah, and... Um, um, you know, one, one verse actually stood out to me in the Bible is Ecclesiastes 11 verse... Two, yes. yeah, is invest in seven or eight ventures because they never know what trouble will come upon the earth. So if this was taught to us, yeah, all right, through our God, our creator, why it is society telling us to just focus on one income and when disaster happens, we have nowhere to turn to? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. So this is why we, you know, we always had that vision, you know. And I remember, um, and I remember that quote, you know, plenty of people used to tell us, you know, look at Jaffa create trades, you're talented in everything, but you are a master of none. And I'm happy and grateful that we actually been Jaffa trades. You understand? 
All right, because guess what? When we were doing business in 2021, um, computer is by default, we have the main physical business, laptop oh, refurbishment and repairs, mm -hmm. yeah? In 2021, um, after after the death of my father, which I could not go to his funeral, mm. guess what? I end up in an in-house accident, yes. ladies and gentlemen, and slip in the tub, we change from bathroom to tub and damage my foot from the knee, go straight down to the heels. And I could not walk or do anything for nearly eight to nine weeks. So guess what? All computer repairs, Gone. Cancel contracts, cancel money that we took in advance for customers, repairs, and deposits. Computer laptops they order to be shipped, cancel. Have to send back to suppliers, take the expense for all the, the, the reshipping back to suppliers and, and um, fees and stuff. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I could not work for eight to nine weeks, could not even drive in the car. Mm. You know what? I know, well, okay, I'm in the bed. I was flat out in bed. I know the brains was working. The hands is working, the mobile phone is working, the laptop <laughs> is working. All right, time to get an online solution. And ladies and gentlemen, we went to a crowdfunding online solution. And I know my wife was working, uh, running up and down preparing for me because I literally could not move out of the bed. And I used to stay in that bed and work and work. Yep. Yeah? And ladies and gentlemen, you know what? Yep, yeah, I work with Bitcoin because Bitcoin was the is the most profitable currency ever mm. in history. All the talk people talk about Bitcoin and, and stuff. That is what literally saved us because when I was on that bed and working with like-minded people, that's the next thing, like-minded people, um, you know, we go and we generate what, about two to three thousand US dollars from the comfort on the bed. And I said, people have to get the simplicity of things. They think to to be comfortable or to earn an extra income is complicated, but it's just some simple things. If I could sit on my bed with a, a, a jacked up foot <laughs> that mm. cannot work for nine weeks and um, could actually generate income, this this um, a light bulb went off in the head and say, ah, this is how the wealthy does work. Because they know how to use, take simple things and actually leverage and they know how yeah. to associate with people. So, what you're, actually, so yeah. what you're actually saying is that if you have a smartphone, and it's not making your money. It's a dumb phone. Very yes, much so. Very much so. <laughs> and he hear all last name, smart. So smart. Smart. So, <laughs> so the phone must be smart too. <laughs> I, I guess you guys are smart, so you have to work with the phone. Girl. <laughs> no, no, no. It's serious. If you got a, and ladies and gentlemen, this is it. I've learned this all, a lot because I do multi-level marketing. I work with Donovan in different ventures, you know. Um, but the whole point is that if you got a smartphone and it's not making the money. It's a dumb phone because they have created phones. And, 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 I, and I think sometimes we really give a hard time to social media and those entrepreneurs that created these tools for us and think it, they're taking over. But really yeah. and truly, they have given us somewhat some power in our hands. Would you say that? If we are not to take yeah. advantage. Oh, yes. A lot of power, ladies and gentlemen, because we have a lot of power in our hands, but, but we, have we, have to, we have to know how to use it wisely. Mm -hmm. We use it the wrong way. We use it to, to and I'm not coming out on any things, to do things mostly and be passionate about things that mostly that don't put income in our pockets. Yeah? But we have the power here because this is this is the gateway to the world. Yes. Yeah? This is the gateway to the families and friends. This is the gateway to somebody needing an opportunity, somebody you don't know that needs an opportunity to to maybe save their circumstances, what they're in. This is your gateway. So we have to, you know, wise up and use this as our gateway, you know, use technology. Because, this, sorry, Lisa, please, Lisa. Mm. Yes, go ahead. This, what, what do you call this, honey? What do I call it? What machine do you call this? The money making machine? Chi ching. Chi ching, chi ching, yeah. That was just for that. You think Las Vegas, Las Vegas, this is the chi ching, chi ching, yeah. Yes. No, no, it, it's, I, I'm, I'm, I'm reminded of what you said earlier, Donovan, whereby you are bedridden. And, and ladies and gentlemen, this, I mean, to how we are now with this world, anything can happen. You can be up and around yes. and something happen. And then what they always say, many people are what? a week away from um poverty yes with, with, with... yeah they are literally they are literally yeah, like about three weeks or three months yeah how well could they survive if everything was to stop today yes 
ladies and gentlemen, if everything was to stop today, how long could you survive without getting any income? Yes. Yeah. What platform do you have that if you stop work today or tomorrow, or God forbid something happen, that you still have income actually coming in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You maybe think it's difficult, but they are simple, simple, um, simple, um, um, platforms that simple actually do that doable. simple and doable you know mm -hmm. platform yeah. that we saw myself have right now yeah. um is that for people who um not techy smart but you know what you have uh uh 100 200 us dollars you want to turn that yeah compounding you have to learn about compounding you have to understand how money works and especially compounding yeah because remember albert einstein said yeah compounding is the eighth wonder of the world yeah he who understand earns wealthy from it. He who don't actually pays for it. Yeah, and we have to learn to understand that. Yeah, because um, as my wife says, money is an energy. Yeah, mm -hmm. money literally have ears. Yeah, yes. what what comes out of this? Yeah, could dictate how your finances would flow in the future. You have to be careful how you speak about money. Yeah. 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 Literally, you have to be careful how to speak about yeah, money. Yeah, a lot of people like to say, Oh, a scrunton, yes, you know, like the Caribbean way, <laughs> a scrunton, and what a broke, and what's the other one? Yeah, it's I'm a pauper, a pauper, <laughs> and all kind of stuff. So, when they keep speaking those things, yes, money wouldn't come their way, even if it comes to them, it will just disappear fast. Mm. Yeah, it will find ways and means yeah. of getting out of their pocket. Yeah, yes, well, well, one, yeah. one words we don't use, yeah. One word we don't use as much as little as possible is expensive because and spend. Ex and spend. Yeah, because what is the three words at the end of spend? And yes. so we say we use money, we circulate money. money. Yeah, use and circulate. You know, yes. you know, you know one, of, one of the things um, is that ideas come to people every day. You know, <clears throat> people are always getting ideas. And, and ladies and gentlemen, um, oh, oh, it's a good point. It's a, I was going to say it. To welcome people and to say what we're doing but i think it's a good time with with vita hey vita how are you doing hi i'm doing great thank you so much how is the family hi, vita. Hey, vita. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, gonna, we're gonna play some music play some music and what are you drinking guys <laughs> I'm doing Cheers. wine today. I'm doing some red wine they said wine is good for the art so i'm being healthy right now Oh yes, <laughs> that, that that's awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, we have Henny, Henny, yeah, Henny and Grapes. <laughs> Henny and Grapes, Henny and Grapes, well, good. As long as the yeah. Grapes is in there, you're still being healthy. <laughs> well, oh yeah. yeah. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome tonight to Talk and Sit, and uh, we we are talking to Donovan Smart and, and Lisa Smart, husband and wife. They're entrepreneurs in the UK originally from Trinidad. And I just said, I wanted to just focus uh, tonight a bit for this first segment on solutions, how people can actually generate income and the thinking and the mindset, because the UK at this present moment is thinking about the potential of another lockdown. And when the lockdown initially started, a lot of people fell on their face, big time. Those who are not able to work from home, those who, are not able, those who have to physically go there, and those who got caught out with the furlough, whereby they weren't able to get anything from the government, you know, at the same time. Um, so the question now is how prepared and how preparing we were during the course of that initial lockdown. You remember, Donovan, we talk about how were people preparing themselves? Vita, I don't know if you heard um, a bit of what um, Donovan was saying. What's your, what's your take on you know, the, the, the thoughts there? Yeah. Well, I, uh, my, my, my phone was going in and out, so I was um, having some difficulties. But yes. what I heard, like the question he asked just before I came on, what is at the end of spend? It's the end. Yes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I got that. And mm -hmm. even what he talked about with the mindset and, and the, the culture of the Caribbean where I am broke. Uh, in Jamaica, we said, me, I have no money. No, I learned that. You speak positive. Me, I'm I'm always rich. I'm always doing great. I, you mm -hmm. know, that's how I speak. I am never broke. I always have money. If I don't have it in my wallet or in my bank account, the universe have it out there. It's coming. I love that. Yes, yes that's indeed. I, that's how I look at it, and it never fails. So it's the mindset. But um, another thing for the Caribbean was that um, mm -hmm. prepare for a rainy day. So uh, that was always pushed into us mm -hmm. and, and taught that. So 
coming to America, what I've learned as far as with the process of living here is that you save at least six months, at least six months, in case something happened, you are prepared. If you want to maintain your, your same lifestyle, to um, you save at least save that just for that, or you scale back and uh, if you're doing a luxury lifestyle, you live below your means to make sure that you have enough, whether you invest it. I prefer to invest and have it in the savings account. Mm. Yes. yes. And, and, that's the best. and that's what um, yes. we need to develop. We need to develop the fact that we have to prepare. Um, one thing I learned is that if you're sleeping and you're making money, then you're doing okay. If, if, if you're yeah. only depending on what your boss going to pay you, the, the nine to five, you're going to live just by your means, as we said, paycheck to paycheck, because eventually you, that paycheck cannot stretch as far as you want it to. And that's how I look at it. You know, you know, one of, you know, one of the worst thing is to be called into an office by your boss and they actually say to you something that can affect your financial position. That is when you realize you're really not mm -hmm. empowered. You're really disempowered. And I never forget this. Many years ago, <laughs> I, I was working with a particular um, organization and they called me into the office and they said to me, um, what I'm being paid is like for two persons or so and they need to cut it back. And I need to speak to my agency or so in order to actually um, sort it out. Now, it didn't work out with the agency. They weren't going to do that. So I decided that I had to leave and I left. And, and you know, but... But the feeling, ladies and gentlemen, and those who are listening, that feeling of actually someone making a decision that can affect your financial, but it wasn't a good feeling. And that's done upon, that's when I started to do all these multi-level marketing and looking at different ways of doing it. Right. Yes. I, I didn't like that feeling, man. It's a worse feeling, Seymour, Peter. Yeah. Seymour, can I just say that? Yes, that's a bad feeling but it works for the person who have to tell you that you cannot we, that we have to cut you it, it's worse when you have to call somebody here knowing that they depend on this paycheck but you have to let them go it's harder at that end right. to know that you are the the the, the middle person because sometimes if it's not your business then it's somebody telling you to do that or process or policy whatever telling you that you have to make that cut it's harder right there wow Donovan, what's, what's your take on, 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 on that? And, um, you know, okay, I mean, we've been talking for a while. What would you say are some of the key things that people need to look out for? I, I, without even endorsing any, any sort of products or whatever, but what are some of, some of the, the businesses or so that people can look at? Um, you know, people out there. Because people are actually hungry. I, I, I sense it. People are mm -hmm. hungry for opportunities People do not want to be in a position where they are, and people actually, after the lockdown, they want to make a difference. But we have to be careful that we don't get sucked back into the, the norm of what it was. Yes, Donovan. Yes, you have to get a platform where you can actually um, use it with experienced people who know how to um, generate, who know how to compound money, yep, yeah? compound income. Yeah, all right? It doesn't have to be a vast amount. Most people figure, oh, you have to take big money to make money. No, you get a platform like that, yeah, where you can actually, um, as I say, you get a, a portion of income, no matter where you're from, and actually grow it and keep compounding it, right? Right? That's one way to prepare for the lockdown. Mm. Number two, stop. You People have power. Products and services you use in your home, do you know it have nice platforms out there that, you could just swap a few products from the supermarket and use like an online shopping that actually will reward you for using that products and you're using it among your community. That's the next, that's uh, um, literally a next platform. Yeah. Mm. Um, get educated about your health. It have an, it have um, a simple platform. It had like with water, look at it, water that people actually benefiting with the health. Yeah. Benefiting with the health. And yet they're earning income too as well. Uh, we see some opportunities. We like this simple thing have people earning income. Yep, you know. So um, all these all these things, you know, you get associated with people with with platforms, literally with platforms like these, you know, and work work with the experienced um, people. So it have products and services that they could work with as a community 
let's say for example, I will tell you, uh, let's give an example. Let's say Lisa must have used this washing liquid, soap to bathe, mm. deodorants, yeah? All right? Yeah. Now, instead of giving that to the big groceries like Tesco or or Asda, yeah? If we will that, it has a, a platform where a community of members buy that every month. Take that from the grocery yeah. and just buy that. And when they buy that, they get rewards. They literally get rewards, yeah? yeah? That is um actually, um yeah, that's a product there. You understand? Mm. A product that, okay, instead, this is a product that actually, when you, the, instead of making, giving plenty of money to the grocery, you have more income um, that, that these products make in you than actually you paying out to the groceries. Yeah. It literally has platforms, um, platforms like that out there. Okay. You know? okay. Let me, let me just, so, but my big one is, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go, go, sorry, let me just welcome Gwenton slowly. How are you doing, sir? Good. Blessings. 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 Cheers. 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 Going to turn up and hold your point. Going to we're talking about um, you know the possibility of a, a lockdown in the UK, um, which the Prime Minister and the Health Secretary have been alluded to, and of course for worldwide at the same time because of the increase in COVID, and we're looking at different ways of how people can protect themselves or, or what should I say, bulletproof their finances by creating other means of income, especially for those who do not have the means of working from home. I don't know if you have a thought on it before Donovan finish up on that point there. Yeah, yeah the, the first point we address is the lockdown. Yeah. yeah us having another lockdown is very slim at the moment. Uh -huh. we've, we've got some people that refuse to have their businesses being affected. And these are the Prime Minister's friends, so I doubt he's going to upset his friends. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so I, 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 there's a slim chance of that happening at this point. But for me, I, I think we need to look at now robust ways of how we could uh, survive in our houses, how could we can make a living from home. Myself, I've, I'm just about to turn one of my properties into a studio and have it running 24 hour, just like the normal TV studio, the mainstream stuff, because- You mean, you mean I can come under some rapping there? Part of the uh, if you, to be? If, if, you're, if you're good enough, you can come. <laughs> you mean if I'm good enough? Come on, man, I'm for well, you, man. <laughs> I, I, I see you can dance, cause I see your morning dancing. So we, we, we know about the dancing, but not the rapping. But it's, it's just simple things like that, understanding how to survive and do for self from home. And it, these are little things that a lot of people are struggling to understand that we have to adapt to the environment around us and not let it affect us. And when we come back to health, we have to look at our vitamins and stop looking away from the, the ground solutions that have been there for years. If we look at what the ancestors and other people in the bushes, the native people are using, they're not coming out the bushes to look for anything else. They're surviving on the sour sap leaf and all the rest of them things, the avocado seed and the, the ginger, the fresh ginger, not the one in the packet and little things like that. So it's about going back to the beginning. I remember growing up, I had to take the cod liver oil and the Cersei. I didn't like them, but right now I love them because I know that they're going to keep me alive. But mm. when I was growing up, those are things that to me was like a punishment, having to drink the Cersei and the cod liver oil. But... It's just about becoming one with self mm -hmm. and understanding what is good for us and what isn't. As yeah. you see, whenever I come <clears> on, I'll love a, a glass of wine, but I'm trying to live an extra day, so I try to flood my body with the water. I, it, likewise, yeah. likewise. I, I compare both of them, you know what I mean? I, I'm work, they're both working together. But before but, Donovan go, before cause we're going to touch on the whole issue with Jamaica, which, which I'm glad you're here on. But Donovan, you're, you're finishing up with, with your big one, because we left it for the last, the big one. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on behalf of Lisa and myself, now we have a big solution coming to the world. It's going to be bigger than Facebook and Amazon. Wow. And um, what I'm going to say now, because we're creating, we're creating solutions while... Um, you know, because you don't know if lockdown could happen again. And right now, as I say, we actually have the big solution where we're going to actually bring technology to reduce crime, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. 
and what is actually here this is for for this is like a personal bodyguard yep your personal bodyguard and we're going to create income from it this app ladies and gentlemen if you're in a taxi you're uncomfortable with the driver you can press a distress signal the community that who has the app not the police the community everybody who have the app will get alerted that you're in distress and it will actually send a signal to emergency services can actually track you where you are yeah if you if you um see in a robbery you can actually film it will actually get pictures of that person before the police even do yeah and this is not just an app to download for everybody you know we literally have a referral program with it for people to earn and then we actually um because lisa myself is president of operations for united kingdom and and europe um we the first to bring it to the united kingdom we're gonna actually actually what we're gonna do um rehabilitate criminals too yeah all right because now we're setting this now where we have will, everybody will have this app but it will always have security monitoring stations yep in every different tongue now when did we combine with the ceo to do this he was thinking of doing um security you know a security firm to do it but we said no let the community have it we were training community just a computer with four monitors in different towns and they could when the apps get a distress signal it would be like an admin panel and they would know how to direct it uh, um to what service okay to the relevant service this this is so sophisticated that um even what we have coming with it too as well if if a, a crime is taking place in the area you could press a distress signal yep like if everybody doing it and it will literally have a drone fly out to the area yeah it will notify the locations of the phone and actually get there to crime ladies and gentlemen look out it's coming big it's called power of the people and 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 power of the people <laughs> and well thank you for that donovan and and of course every big idea starts with a small embryonic thing you know and um and as you say bigger than facebook or so i mean that is something and Gwenton will agree is a um, solution which is needed because like in Jamaica now, we're going to talk about this after you go, Donovan, uh, getting another guest in, is about the abduction of the children in Jamaica. And if a community can actually instantly move with these things, you know, I, I, I think, you know, mm -hmm. they always say the rich person or the, the most successful person is the one who fixes or have the answers to the world problems or so, you know. So listen, so, so you want to say something, Wenton? Wenton? Uh, we look at uh, financial and, and monetary uh, costs now. So let's, before you leave, Donovan, who's your UK ambassador for that? Because we, we haven't got anything like that over here. And is it protected, the pattern protected and everything else? Correct. It's, it's patented protected. Um, it's patented protected and right now Lisa myself is actually putting in um putting in even more solutions because it wants to go, go globally, right? Okay. But we have a, a quickly a little old fashioned stuff that is protecting us because the app the app do have a subscription to it. Yeah. Okay. And we make it affordable for everybody. One US dollar a month, ten US dollars for the year. And basically, um it is patented. It is patented and we're gonna create jobs from this. It's literally patented right. so right now we put in a system where everybody all over the world can actually get access to it all right well, before you just, yeah, a, well. just a quick idea to add to that uh in certain areas like what the rich people do where they've got uh security and dog patrolling uh just something for you to think about you could add that to the app as well so not just sit there waiting for crime to happen or for people to tap the app also add the uh, security service to that where you're patrolling the areas and keeping people safe regardless if there's a crime happening or not so just an idea for you there anyway well i can i can i can see yes we have it in place already too um correct we have it in place already yeah. because being the president of operations um we could we could issue panels let's say you have a gated community and they say you know what we want to have our own security with the app and stuff we could actually um, we could we could de deploy an admin panel in the security booth where they can have it and they can have their community, um, you know, the, yeah, protected. Yeah, not just waiting for crime. Mm. All that is in place already too as well. So just to All let right. you know that um, Donovan and I have been talking and I've been to one of the presentations. So we're going to take this to the next level, um, Donovan and Gwenton. We, we will talk some more about this. 
uh, as well. Listen, Donovan, I want to thank you so much for Lisa and Donovan Smart. You know, there's a there's a there's a preacher guy in the states named Creflo Dollar. He's always talking about money, man. He said, <laughs> "Money come to me." So you're smart. You guys have wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> and Vita, any last word you want to say to Donovan and Lisa before they Well, go? I have a question as far as you said you're going to go in and train the community. So, is the, are you going to like uh, like here in America they have state level, so you'll go to the, the state uh, at the level, whether it's the mayor of that community. Is that the same thing you're doing in the United Kingdom? The CEO lives in America. The CEO who he is. Oh, awesome. Yes. So are you are you going out what, what, what they are doing, mm -hmm. they are they are taking it out to bring it back in to America. Hmm. Okay. So right now it's it's located in Trinidad, right now, the first country. Yep. Trinidad and Tobago. Oh it is just set, set up in Jamaica too as well. Yes. Yeah. And we set up the first station in the United Kingdom. And they are in yeah. Ghana and Nigeria. Yeah. Oh, that is great. That's awesome, mm. guys. That's really great. That's really awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Donovan? Soon we will have demos. Yeah, we will have okay. demos and um and, and online Zoom presentations. Uh, yeah. I'd like to see you. Hopefully we'll see you in the future. <laughs> yeah. Say, I Cheers. Here's the crime reduction. <laughs> Cheers, Donovan. Thank you guys so much for that. Cheers to talk and say, you're welcome. Hey, welcome. Peace out. Boom. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Well, guys, listen, well, thank you guys so much for joining um, tonight. Um, um, Donovan and Lisa Smart talking about um, different ways how to bulletproof your income and look at different ways, which is good. But um, I want to touch into something else now, guys. And I'm glad you guys are here, you know. I'm going to talk about this whole thing in Jamaica regarding, I don't know which one to start with. Should I start with the cult in the church or jungle justice? I think we should go on jungle justice. Is jungle justice justified? Isn't it, Wenton? I think we should touch on that one. Is jungle justice justified? For, um, for me, it, sorry? I'll look at the bonus. It's a topic that has to go hand in hand on both sides because certain times when people get frustrated, they believe that the only way is to take the law into their own hand. Mm. Mm. And and if I give if I give us a little background, um, hey Vanessa, how are you doing? Welcome, good evening, Vanessa. Hi, good, good, good. Yeah, right, live and direct. Come on, you there, Ochi? You there, Ochi? <laughs> Hi, Vanessa, how are you? What are you drinking? I'm good. What are you drinking? Cranberry juice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it healthy. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing too. I have grape juice. Well. You know, I'm drinking, I'm drinking, when you see, being a man, so much put it in your head, I'm drinking something. I'm drink. drinking rum and Red Bull. <laughs> and, I, and I'm not drinking that, but, you know, that's the whole thing with branding. How, you know, you start to think that you're drinking rum and Red Bull, you're just drinking sparkling water and wine. <laughs> but listen, on a serious note, we had the issue recently of recent days, whereby these two girls were abducted, one after the other, nine-year-old and then the 13-year-old and the nine-year-old was seen by camera with the the guy the alleged abductor um i do not know if she was sexually abused or whatever like that because they said her checking it out and then there's a 13-year-old girl who actually was this was um found was um also abducted many people believe it's the same person and then you know community came out which was really good that the community came out with the police and everybody searching because that's what happened regular. It happened over here in the UK when they're looking for Sarah Everett, a friend of mine, uh, a legal assistant. She was, they couldn't find her in, in I think, what was it, in Birmingham side or so. And for days they were looking for her. Community came out, lots of colleague, legal colleagues that I worked with before. We all joined a, a WhatsApp group. They searched for her, they searched for her, and they found her. And that was really fantastic. They found, they found her. So it is good that the community came out. But what we saw happened in Jamaica was whereby they killed the wrong person. They killed the wrong person. Now, the, the question is this. How did that happen? And how did it happen even right underneath the police um, you know, gaze? Because they were with the people at many times. I don't know if we want to jump in there. 
Well, it's not the first time that, and yes, I do believe mm. in, in, in the community, defending the community. And that's what that was with the girls being abducted. Not only were the, the fear of what's happening to her or children and the pain that the community was facing. And with that human nature of emotion, it happened. It's a freak accident, as they say. It was not supposed to be, but it happened. Mm. You know, and it, the, 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 the guy that got killed, Unfortunately, Jamaica don't have the community to help the mental um, sick people or with mental health um, situation. And, and that's what happened, as we heard in the news that we saw. But yes, I believe in the justice of the community doing it. Unfortunately, what happened shouldn't have, but I so agree just, with it. So just to clarify, you are supportive if it was the right person. Yes. Even, even though Vita... The girl did not got killed, even though there's no evidence or confirmation that she was sexually abused. Are you saying that you are happy for that to happen? I'm going to be, well, let me tell you, you don't know. Yeah. And as a mother, as a parent, as a woman, um, the fact that there are situations that, um, and I can't disclose information, but yeah. both children was raped. Okay. And the fact mm. that um, what happened to these the nine year old and the thirteen year old, it's devastating as a woman. It's devastating as a mom. And mm. the pain that I felt as a mother, a woman, a sister, a Jamaican, if I was in that community, I'll be the one leading to kill that guy. Okay. It's the okay. pain that the human nature mm. have. It's the pain that you are feeling. The emotion that you're feeling. What happened to those children? Mm. Yes, I could see that that human nature and the anger of the community. And yes, wow. it could be on the other side. What if it was my son and they killed him or whatever the case, yeah? Mm. But the pain mm. that those children went through and the pain that the children of Jamaica been going through and the female been going through, they're frustrated, they're angry, they're upset. Mm. They're at the situation where it's, it's no more. And the, that's what happened, mm. unfortunately, why it happened to yeah. that guy. Vanessa, do you, yes. do you, Vanessa, is it that the, the, the police forces or the security is not, um, you know, doing their job? So the people have to... I tell you what, tell me. Um, when I listened to sister speak a while ago, I tend to think that we copy legal systems around the world. But if you look at the Afrocentric way of dealing with justice is to have a community panel and they would try you at community level I don't know if you've watched films and you see how they have a community thing yes. where they, to the point of ostracism, but they don't yeah. kill persons. Yeah. So um, it's that we have become very sophisticated as a world and the solution towards crime has been taken away from the community. And now a situation has um, come about where it's time for community justice um, and then part of the sophisticated legal system that we now have is the police. And we have um, made more sophisticated what has been innate from Africa and around the world and, you know, other probably eth ethnic or, you know, tribal things. You know, we've, we've, we've perfected that. We've now called it what you call the rule of law. Mm. And um, we have to function within the remits of the law. And what I can see here is that the police themselves have been caught off guard as usual. Um, I can go back to the Nzinga King, King case where the police went into a car and sprayed the sister, um, took her out, cut her locks. Because to me, that kind of action is that we're in a pandemic or we're in a, a, a situation where they are ne not ready. They have not, their minds have not been trained to enforce human rights to start with. Now, it, the community and the police have not been friends. We don't trust them. We, you know, take talk about Infama, and um, we don't trust the police. Um, we are not used to using the police anyway to solve our problems. So whether they are there or whether they are not there, we're going to solve it ourselves because we don't trust them. So them being there is neither here nor there mm. in the minds of the community. Um, but the media has it and the outside world has it that um, the police and the citizens, I wasn't there, but okay, let's take for granted that the citizens and the police have come together. 
what sort of planning did the police have given that this was a community police coalition and engagement the police have been caught off guard was there any kind of pep talk was there any kind of planning towards the mind of the people or was it too administratively unworkable and i don't think this, the police and the, the, the citizens were working hand in hand because i would think that any self-respecting orderly police force would have put some order into the the um what was going on there but as usual they mm. were caught off guard let me just, let me just, and yeah. um, mm. they were ignored yeah. they were overrun and ignored yeah. uh, gwenton i don't you've been following it in jamaica uh, what, what's your take on it yeah i i, I followed it I, to be honest i found it very strange and peculiar that the police were allowing people into their pickup trucks i've never seen anything like that before so I was a bit confused whether it was a real police vehicle or was yeah. it a community vehicle that looked like a police vehicle. When we look at this, it, it's the same as the UK where you've got young boys killing other young boys on the street for senseless yeah. stuff. A lot of parents are out there marching and I'm sure a lot of them would rather take matters into their own hands. But the, the thing is, we need to be mindful and understand that the power that we have and if we start uh, saying certain narratives we might have people thinking that's the correct procedure to take so for for someone like myself I always say leave it to the law to deal with because I don't want anyone then thinking that oh it's okay to go out there and, and seek uh, retribution or revenge and then end up getting a 25 or 30 years and saying oh but Gwen and I thought it was the right thing to do but as I said, with emotions running high and a lot of people in those cars searching the bushes or whatever, the minute that they found someone, and especially if the person is not able to even explain themselves in time, something uh, serious was going to happen. And, and it's the age of the young girl. And this isn't the first time. If we look back about eight, nine years ago, when we were having people coming into the country pretending they were Jamaicans and actually taking the lives of the young girls because it was other things that they wanted internally from those young girls. It was much more dangerous then and reported then when every day another young girl was being snatched off the streets or outside of their house. The only difference with this one is mm. actually we were allowed to see it playing out live on CCTV. Normally when you hear incidents happen, in Jamaica, there's no footage of it. So it was a different feeling to see the young, the young girl being escorted away, even from the UK. You, you actually hoped and prayed that that young girl arrived back safe and well. And when we heard that she was discovered, it was a, a sense of relief across the world to think that this is an innocent young girl. She's going to suffer lifetime trauma, but at mm. least she's alive and not, and not murdered. And I think that was the, the biggest thing that came out of that when we all saw the young girl being rushed into the hospital. But as I said, for family members, community members, if you live in a close-knit community and you've watched that young girl from birth to eight years old and then to think someone's come into the community, especially if they're not from the community, yeah. and snatch one of your members... It, it's, it, it gives a total different feeling as if it was a community member that snatched the young girl. You understand? And because yeah, I've seen in England, there was, when they killed, what was, um, they killed, was it killed? They killed somebody and the whole of England was nearly shut down for a week where people were outside rioting and burning and really beating the police, really, think, because of... Um, they're talking, um, what's his name? in Duggan. Mark Duggan, isn't it? Yes. Mark Duggan. And, and that, that again. Yeah, so you can see in any society, as a sister was saying, that it's not unique to Jamaica, that persons will come out and, sh and set an example as to what they do not want. But it was very sad in this case that they caught the wrong perpetrator. Indeed. And, um, and it is a lesson. It, uh, um, several lessons, as the brothers say, came out of it, that it's good to see the police and the community working together, that they can work together. And the government, the police, the government should move from here 
to, to better this and put systems in place for community because that's just what Jamaica is short of right now. Police and community getting in a van, working together or communicating. If that's the one lesson that came out of it, um, the community. And the next lesson is we've got a um, jungle justice is, is, is a shifty scale. So we've got to have due process and um, try to ensure that we try to use the law because just getting your our own way it can it, this one has turned out um badly you know because some an in, another innocent life has been um caught and what surprises me though is that the police the, the, the members of parliament um about the jungle justice and uh, more about the um you know when these things happen in the uk mm. you will see a member of parliament coming out and speaking out about this, the incidents, a lot of things have been going on in relation to women and violence. And a lot of our members of parliament have been really quiet. But, but even the women amongst them, as the this, mother here this, said, this, she felt like... This action, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, didn't yeah. mean to be rude and, and, and cut you off. But there's, there's, there's action going on as far as the woman in politics and, and, and the government that's going on. So there is stuff going on. It's just that it's not as public as they should have made it be. It, at, they have to be public. They need to. The they community agree. felt so strongly that they killed the wrong person. Mm -hmm. And those who are in leadership are just, they, we are vomiting and they are not even coughing come on okay but let me let me tell you about the jamaica that i grew up in and the jungle justice mm. is something that i honestly um know about and uh, was it in the right form that they use it um it's not my place to say it was right or wrong but the way i grew up the police they do know about this the police um someone rape or um, break into your home or uh, unfortunately, if you're gay, who used to be where the community will take care of it. And you live in a kind of a, a crime-free neighborhood because mm. the police know that if this happened, the community is going to beat that person. Um, they have to reach there in time enough, fast enough for the community not to kill them. Um, but the police do know about that. It's something that been practiced in Jamaica that I know of. In the, the police need to stop it. But, <laughs> they but, need to do their but, jobs. Hold on, We're hold not going to do their jobs on, for them. Hold on. The, the, um, the gentleman said earlier that uh, it was good that they find the little girl and she was not, uh, she was alive. But let me tell you something. As a woman, as a female, as a mother, as a sister, um, that girl growing up, whether she was raped or not, not going to live a normal life as a female. Once mm. you're violated, it's very hard unless you go through a lot of, of mental um, therapy. So yeah. it, 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 it's more than just that they found her and she's there. It, it's way deeper than that with Sandra, can, can, that little girl. Can, can, can I just say something? Do you, you, you know what's going on, though? Well, 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 I feel we have a nation of mm. mentally ill persons yeah. because of the state's neglect of persons where we have yeah. persons who are being manipulated by the church um, who are supposed yeah. to be protecting. The, uh, one arm of the state used to be the church. Yeah. Then we now have formal arms of the state, state, state church, church separation. Yeah. But both of the arms of government who are there to be protecting the persons, they have neglected so much that people have become vulnerable and they've fallen to the elements. It's, it's, a, yeah. it's a failed state that is breaking down. Can I just say that we have to be solving yeah. everything ourselves? Can I, can, can I come in here and I, and I put it to Wellington to bring and I, can, can, Not about well, JLP or PNP. Yeah. PNP, same thing. Yeah. JLP, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just come in here with this point here? Um, and I put this out to people listening and to the, to the persons here as well. I'm picking up that we are okay with the death penalty because if jungle justice is to kill someone, taking the law in your hands, that means to say that we're happy with the death penalty. And we have seen in the cases whereby a lot of miscarriage of justices, well, that is why they are hesitant about the death penalty. I, I'm very concerned, though, personally speaking about this, because A, it's like collateral damage. It is like collateral yeah. damage whereby, just like in the, in the war in Iraq, whereby they're killing the children or families or whatever like that, collateral damage. And I think in a way we are cheapening life. That's just my perception, maybe because I'm a person. Jungle justice is just yeah. not on because, yeah. as you say, it's just like the death penalty where if you are tried at community level yes. and you're, you've died, you've not allowed due process. Yes. 
to take its place and um evidence fresh evidence could come um later on that clears a person mm. so jungle justice even though it's an immediate emotional reaction and there's a part of every human mm. being that understands it it's it has no place today yeah. in modern society and i think mm. we have to train the police yes. not to be a part of jungle justice because they are part of the formal systems that we pay taxes yes. for that they are to investigate they are to there's a trial you're found guilty mm. and due process has to take place so because the first point of contact is the police and they're usually negligent mm. the police have a lot to answer they're like the devil okay you have okay. to blame them for just right. about everything Sit, sit <laughs> right there Gwenton. come in Gwenton. all right what, what i'll say to that is this we we look at it on on, on two points if you kill the wrong person's child by accident there's no apologizing for that there's a lot of people going about their business minding their own business but if you activate them the whole village might have to leave yeah, and that could be one person that will turn that whole community upside down. Uh, maybe you might say not in Jamaica, but I'll tell you something. In England, you go kill the wrong person's son. Your whole family, everyone else that was in those pickup trucks will have to leave the same night. So we need to also be mindful of that, that we go and... What do you think? What would happen to them? <laughs> I would want to know. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> It's Let a serious say, thing. Yeah. If, mm. if, your, if your son is accidentally killed by... We have to look at them now as a group of hooligans because they're at taking the law into their own hands. Then they also have to be prepared for the consequences and the wrath of killing somebody's son that's trying to mind their own business. There's a lot of people in the community that might look simple, but when activated, it's very dangerous. So that's true. That is so true. It's so true, brother. Mm. So at, it's not just Jamaica; it's every society that you've got jungle justice. So, but um, it's not. It's we can't. We have to do better, though, as a society. Let's not let it get there. There's way too much blood shedding in Jamaica and too much kill in in this world. Really, too much killing, kill for kill, hang for hang. Where does it end? We're all gonna be dead as yeah. a race if we don't stop killing each other. Well, you know, well, Donovan, we have a virus now that's mass murdering everyone, and we're still we're still at it, isn't it? Donovan Smart, Donovan Smart in Trinidad. Donovan Smart was on the show earlier. He's from Trinidad. They say it's happening in Trinidad and Tobago also. Not just a fiber, but it's happening everywhere. Yeah, it's definitely so, but Last point I want to touch before uh, is this: we need to stop looking for politicians and looking at them as heroes. They're normal people like us. Yeah. that have sweet tongues when they're knocking your doors or on the TV wanting you to vote for them. Once they get in power, you get more of the same. So I, it's one thing when I hear people say, no, why is the politicians doing, have they ever done anything different from what they're doing now? So we shouldn't be complaining. And the, the, well, I tell you what, that's not an excuse it, it, because not, you, but, we have but, problems all around no, the world. No, no, let, let we me, have, sorry, I was going to say no, it's, it's, finish this we have, it's, it's not about an excuse. Yeah. It's about us as civilians within the community looking for a group of people that have treated us the same. It's like you're in a relationship, but the relationship's been bad. You go across the road with another person, the relationship there's bad. It's bad on both sides, so you can't expect any of them to treat you any different. And it's the same thing with politicians. They will massage you down to get what they want, and after that, they treat you bad. It's been happening for decades. Nothing is going to change. Absolutely nothing. So for us to say we I don't buy that. be out there, you yourself, as know. community leaders, mm. have got the power to become the politicians instead of looking to them for help. But when there's an election... Well, th that's true, but... um, yeah, when, when, uh, Yes, when I get what you're saying to a certain extent. I do agree with mm. some of it. But I'm also saying to him who much is given, much mm. is expected. And I'm not saying that other countries are perfect. But in terms of Jamaica, um, if you compare Jamaica with the UK, yes, the UK has got its own problems. But um, once they get a nip, they 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 close into into an issue. They try their best, but with all politicians, I think way in Jamaica, way to him who much is given, much is expected, and it's between the JLP, PNP, and way too much is going 
down the drain because there is a total disregard of the rule of law at every level. And I'm not saying that England is perfect, for mm. example. But I've lived in England for a, a while, and I I know the difference. I'm not saying that they're perfect, but our government that we are voting for, and we are paying taxes, and the police that are taking pay on the false pretenses. As a as a country, we mm. need to rise up and fire the whole lot of them. Okay, could I, could I, we well, have to vote them out. Can well, I say one, one, one more thing then? One more thing, just before mm. you take over. With all of the people within Jamaica, the millions of people, I, I forgot how many people are on the island. And, and I don't. 3.5, I think. Three, jump, been jump, jump. Jump. They've been saying 3.5 3. for the minute I've been bored. There's more 2.5. Yeah, they're killing so many people, 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 people in it. And, 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 yeah, and they're, they're dying as well. Okay, yeah. but if we, grow. If, if, we, if we look and see how many wealthy people are in Jamaica, yeah, why is it then we haven't had an alternative to the big two? Because of the classism, there is there is classism, and you know when you look at the cult leader who has been able to take over the mind of the church, it's a set, the, the whole country is vulnerable at the moment, and the two parties too have become an extension of a cult. As far as I'm concerned, you join one cult or the other. Yeah, I'm going to take it back to the old story of you said that um, that we should not take matter in, and I'm speaking from the level of the, the, the people of Jamaica underground, um, emotionally attached to the whole situation and living in America, um, the dealings with the police and the dealing with the police in Jamaica. So I'm looking at it from emotion part of it. I might not be rational yeah. right now because it's, I'm emotionally attached, but. We, you're entitled to be. Pardon? You're you are entitled, entitled to, to be. be. Okay, thank you. So dealing with it, the police, um, the mistress of the police in America, and that you cannot trust them as a, as a black person. And in Jamaica, where you cannot trust the police, because if you look at what just happened with the cult in Jamaica, the head of the police is part of the church. And people report the, 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 the killing and raping of, of, the raping of boys in the church and the principal of the school is involved and all this stuff happening and the boys have been raped and it was reported to the police and the police did not do it because they're a part of it why would we as a community trust the police why wouldn't we take matters into our own hands when we're not getting help from the police you're and right it's sad that the wrong person get mm. caught up in the situation you're but right we have to kill 10 to protect our kills then we're gonna yeah. kill 10. so what so what you're saying you're right so what, because so, so because so when second, she what, is right she's absolute yeah. she, you're right yeah. what, what, because one, one she's second, right she, one second and Vanessa, just don't get me put that in context so so vita what you're actually saying right there is that due to the lack of an effective police force, the lack of an effective yeah. security system. The people have no confidence in them, so they have to take the matters into their own hand. And even if they fail in that process, the, the liability falls on the police because of their ineffectiveness yes. in order to carry out their job. Is that Absolutely that's right? That's what I'm saying. Absolutely I'm saying right. What I'm sip, 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 I'm saying the jungle. Sister, the sip, sip. The, <laughs> the jungle. <laughs> the jungle situation gonna happen because until they remove what, what happened in Montego Bay, Jamaica, until they remove all the police force and bring in uh, bring in new police and revamp the old situation of the police and all the situation that happened the trust factor as far as just in the police and the authority it's not going to happen so no. you're going to have the crime because there is no police to take care of the crime bring out the soldiers because i can tell you that i live in America. oh yeah I live in America. The soldiers don't play. And when I go, when I when I'm in Jamaica, and I visit Jamaica like three times per year. Um, and when I visit Jamaica, and if I have to stop by a police, and even some of the police are so that know you, they ask, they're demanding money from you. 
They stop you probably going 20 miles an hour. You're speeding. They demanding money and they exploit you as a tourist. They exploit you as a returning resident. That's the corruption of the police. Why would we trust them? So yes, the community needs to Pause take the us part. Their Excuse my language. Mm. So that's what happened in Jamaica and it's going to continue <laughs> until they clean out the, the corrupted police and put in the clean ones, the, the, the community but to continue to take matter in their own hands. Mm. But the system of choosing the head of the police is political and everything that's coming from those two parties in jamaica they have failed and i wonder when will jamaican people get up we have a third party you now that's coming along and it's one thing to sit outside and say this and that about the leader but you can get involved and be part of the change that's yeah. where i would lead the people at the moment yeah. because these two parties are never going to change let, 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 never. Let, let, let me do let me do super, may I say something please Wait, wait, wait. Um, before, you, before, before you go, before you go, I want to bring in um, Lester. Um, Gwenton, yes, are you? Le Gwenton, I just want to see if Gwenton is going, so I can thank him for. If, can I hear you? You're speaking in. I'm, like it's back. You know, I'm, I'm going to jump back on the motor in a minute. I'm giving you preferred treatment here. You know. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go because we're gonna we have another half an hour. We're gonna bring in someone else. But any uh, last word? Any last word you want to say on the the cult guy in Jamaica before you go? Just because I'm going to go on to that topic next when I bring in Lester. Um, and my, you, and my my thing is this: mm. as bad as it is, at least we know and we've uncovered it. And my thing is is learn from this. Is to learn and and when people report stuff, actually take it serious. The infrastructure within the police station is well behind. I was down there 2016, and when I saw the police station and even the hospital in Falmer, I was embarrassed. So we need to change the infrastructure where everything is digital. If someone reports something, it is digitally recorded, so mm. we can't go missing. So if it's not actioned, there's a date, time, and stamp on the email or the report when it was logged. So then someone is held accountable once it's digitally recorded. It yeah. can't be So when, because of the way we're doing stuff and the whole infrastructure and the systems down there, it yeah. allows people to have selective amnesia when they're pulled up about certain things. And yeah. that's what, <laughs> if, we're, if we're looking that at the highways, and if, if we're allowing people to build the highways, let them build the infrastructure yes. in the country where it's robust, like other countries and other Caribbean countries. Yes. It's, it's, a, it's an embarrassment. And this is why we continue to see things happening after people are reporting crime, because you cannot write something in a book and expects it to be actioned. It needs to be entered on a digital system immediately. Yes. Yeah. So if, if if they have to get some iPads down there or some iPhones or something, so because I see them on the roadside with digital stuff, but in the station they need to be digitally recording stuff. It's, 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 it's an embarrassment. It is yeah. an embarrassment. Yeah. And I'm going to call. Yeah. And the police before stations are like right before, next if you go in them. Before before, before Gwenton go, Gwenton earlier you said. We can't trust the polit politicians then because they are the ones and we're expecting them. But you're running for office, aren't you? No, no, no. Oh! <laughs> if you're running, it's a good thing because no, no, we no, have no, fresh no, no, blood no, no, in the no, thing, isn't it? No, no. Listen, well... <laughs> that, that was a low blow, so <laughs> we, we, we... <laughs> You sound like you do a better job than the ones who are there. <laughs> Normally we're not friends in May, but we're not <laughs> friends again till next week Friday again. No, but with me, with me is this: the difference is, I'm not trying to become a career politician. I'm not yes. trying to become famous. When I'm doing things, I put up my own money and I put my money where my mouth is. Yeah. I'm in the community doing the work. I've been there doing the work for nearly twenty years. So my running for politics is to show, listen. As an independent, I'll put up my money, I'll do the billboards, I'll do the bus, I'll do the TV stations, and I'll say whatever I want. Nobody can't hold my mouth. So what I'm showing the community is, if I could do it, why can't you? Stop the excuse. And 
if I have to come to Jamaica and run for the Prime Minister over there, just give me some time to suit out England first. And then <laughs> I might have to transition back home with the sun and the sea. But all jokes aside, we need to start doing for self. And that's what I promote. We don't need nothing from no one, no help, no nothing. We could do everything. We have the money. We have the infrastructure. We've got the people. Why do we keep voting for the same people? That's yeah, me. Totally agree with they you. They need to go totally now. Really and truly, them two parties need to go. Oh, cheers. They don't need to go. Leave them where they yeah. are. Create your own party and run as individuals. Mm. No, I, I know what you mean. I mean, they, I mean, we need to vote them out and vote a new party, innit? Can I tell you, can I tell you something? You vote, the, you, you vote out the government... You get the government back in. <laughs> if you vote out the government, well, you get the government back. Well, different people make know, up different know, things. We I got know, know, look. Know, you, know. if the four of us was to start a party in Jamaica, you know, the country would be better than what we have now. Them two parties. So we're two, two, two women parties down here. <laughs> two men at the top. I'm sure we could do a better job <laughs> than JLP and PNP. We don't even have an opposition at the moment. If, if Quiet could, as a mouse. If we're gonna run the party, we have to behave within the law, or I'm out. Yeah? No, Jungle Justice. That's it. <laughs> Brenton, listen. Thank you so much for joining. Well, Madam, Minister of Minister of um, yes, Security of here Minister would have better police in place. <laughs> All right, let's... she would have better police in place. She would hold them accountable. Yes. <laughs> she not rap man. With the both of she not play. <laughs> but I operate within the law. Yeah. All right, Brenton. So for, ladies, <laughs> blessing and love. Thank, Thank you. you well That's said. Well done. spoken. Thank you, Quentin. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Cheers, bye. Um, let's just say I'm lawless. I'm, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, you just recognize the failure before the rest of us and say, well, it's not working, so we have to do it ourselves. Yes, it's a fa the police is a, is a failure in Jamaica as far as the corruption yeah. that's there. Well, just resetting the it's room. Just... Well, just resetting the room, man. And thank you guys for, for, for this. Um, um, it, it's, it's a topic which is generating so much um thing in jamaica in regards to the abduction the wrongful killing and also the the cult but lester good evening sir what's is up that lester, sir? Mm -hmm. is that lester son hmm? what happened to his face yeah. is that a, is that a different yeah, person yeah. is a different person what yeah. happened to his face i don't know maybe <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe he has I'm... his change up to come on tonight i don't know why I'm drinking. I'm drinking milk. Oh, milk! That's a key bit. <laughs> that's that's all. That's all like some 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 cowboy movie when they're going to. No wonder me no cowboy hat. And uh, and he yeah. come inside and said that um he want milk. And everybody in the, yeah. in, the in the saloon laugh and bust out the laugh. You know. Let's say, what's your take? Yeah. Because you have been commenting and making comments and telling, calling um, lawless people. I, 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 <laughs> I, I have so much to say, and um, I hear the cries, I hear the, the passion, but we have to be careful. We have to have facts, we have to have the truth, and and Actually, sorry, it's not, Lester, it's not Lester, it's his son. Kiddies, who knows him very well, says Lester's son. Yes, look at yes. <laughs> his son. son. He's so young. <laughs> and this, this shirt was made by Kiddies, you know. She, 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 she was the one that made this shirt. Happy yes, birthday, Kiddies, as well, I can say. Happy, uh, happy birthday, Kiddies. Happy oh, birthday, kiddies. Happy birthday. Today's our birthday. I'm going to need my, my shirt, too, and I'm going to need in green. And, and, and one for talk and sip as well. One for talk and sip and one for Venice as well. And so talk, talk and, and sip. Kiddies, I will definitely talk to you yes. about that So we, if you, if you, we don't have to ask you. We don't have to ask you, kiddies. Just send it, please. Lester kept saying that yes. you send things to him. You know? Thank you. You know the score. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you in advance. There green. we go. <laughs> yeah. Let's say you're saying, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes, Silver. Um, yeah. You, you, you guys hearing me? Yes. yes. Yes, we can hear you. And that's not Lester. At, uh, it's not Lester. But but um but Sil Silburn, one of the the, the, the issue mm. is that the, the 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 politics and the police fail to do a simple job in terms of if you're going to have a search party with the community, right? Mm. You have to have photos of who you're searching for. 
all the pictures that mm. I've seen and videos that I've seen with, with people searching, nobody have photo of the little girl, the little girls, right? There was no photos plastered all over the, the towns in St. Thomas. So mm. people have a visual of who the girl is or the, the alleged perpetrator is, right? Because I have spoken to people in Bath, I have spoken to people on the ground in Hector's River, I have spoken to people in Golden Grove, I have spoken to people all over. This man was seen yesterday, this is, this is um, Davy and Brian, was seen yesterday in Hector's River going to a shop. Yesterday? Going to a shop. Yesterday. The I spoke who, to somebody who, in Hector's mm, River. Mm. Yes. Right? Now, what I'm saying, for the most part, people don't know who they're looking for. Because if they knew, if they knew who they're looking for, they wouldn't kill that man. Right? Secondly, no plan. Secondly, this notion of the police and the community not working together, the police and the community have always worked together. Always worked together. They, they, they have this love-hate relationship, right? So when people say the, the community must work with the police, always. You understand me? If you can think back on most major events that happen or anything will happen, the police and the community always work together. What mm -hmm. happened is that what happened is that somebody always tried to politicize these events at all times, mm -hmm. you know? All the time, so somebody tried to politicize these events, and we have to move away from that. The, the issue is nobody is using any real science in searching for, for, for this person, these person. Now, for the last two days or so, they have had tropical rain in St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. But the police and residents, over 1,500 people, are in the bushes searching for this person. Which man are going to lie down in a bush in a tropical rain? NC is at the shop and shelter mm. in some place right, um, right in the public. People are helping him. People uh, are helping him. He's not in any bush. Oh, he's <laughs> in a cave, <laughs> isn't he? He could be in a cave. How listen, many caves are there? Look, listen, to the amount of people were are searching him, right? He would have been found if, he, if he's in a cave. People are helping this man. Is, is, that's, that's, is that not the view that people are actually supporting in, of, in some of, respect? Of, mm. of course, but what, what we're saying that every time he's spotted, he's spotted in an urban area. He's not spotted in a bush. He's spotted in well, an what urban I area. Say, what I could say to the community, if you find him in anybody else, burn that freaking house down. You kiddies, I'm sorry, I'm calling the kids. Sorry, I didn't say kiddies. I mean, Vita, Vita. Uh, did that come out? Of, it, didn't, it didn't come out the show here. Vita. Vita, I cannot support that, Vita. I can't. So, but, but see, but see what you for guys for are... Is he hiding in a police station? Do you think he's hiding in a police station? In a cell? Amongst prisoners? <laughs> no, <laughs> what are you going to do? I I totally, what would you do in the station? I personally disassociate myself from anything that leading towards anything of... Uh, so Jungle justice. Jungle justice. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I'm not, just asking. Vita. Could he be hiding in a police station? No, 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 no. Or in a but, church? But, 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 is he in a church building? Like Dodos was caught in a church, isn't it? No, no. Dodos was not caught in a church. Dodos was caught caught with a pastor. With a pastor. Hold on. Yeah, they were heading to the church. He was trying to ask. Caught with a pastor and this other pastor caught to... Let's talk about this pastor guy. Let's... How can Jamaica reach to this point where you got this this excellency? I thought there was only one excellency in Jamaica. And that was Lester. Mm. Sorry, I mean, I mean, no, um, no. I mean no. sorry, sorry um, what's the guy named? The 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 the, the, the governor general. What is in the own excellency? How yeah, did this guy um, become Patrick. excellency? Patrick. How did he reach a point where people are actually giving this man hundred thousand dollars and eating because sardines? Because people are vulnerable. They are depressed and they suffer. There's a lot of mental illness going around. Agree. Okay. And um. And um, occultism, because of the pandemic, persons um, are drawing to some form of spirituality, um, whatever it is that they know. And just like the politicians, the leaders, the pastors are capitalized, the, fake, the, sh the wolf amongst the sheep, because there are a lot of good pastors out there. The wolves among the, chief, the, the, the sheep are taking advantage of people. What I want to know about all the spiritual wickedness in high places is how many secret societies are there in Jamaica and in Africa, them say every dog near am egg, you know. But I don't want to get ketchup, eat it, or egg eater. 
My man, yeah, Mr. Smith, he had a new egg eater now, but I want to know like the high society, secret society them. We have for them own arc and them body body parts and missing bodies and, and something. Um, how's that one going? Um, uh, when, when is you that, know, look, how's that one going? There's a difference. Um, it's a religious, uh, it's not spiritual. This is a re it's religious cult. This is not spiritual. It's a cult. There's a difference. There's a lot of religions. And that is the problem. Spirituality is not the problem. This is a. It only became a cult now that we found out about it. Because before <laughs> it became a cult, and it's not. It used to be spiritual. This is not new in Jamaica. It's just that yeah. a lot of us did not know about it or or failed uh, uh, to recognize that but, what it is. Here, let me but Vita, 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 let, let, let me draw an analogy. When I see people, people acting brand new, like this thing is is new, not right? Mm -hmm. let, let, let us let us look at how people act over GLP and PMP. Haven't we killed each other over GLP and PMP for the last 70, 70 years? Mm -hmm. At the same thing, it's, it's no different. We have a person who is a head of a political institution, right? And them rev up the crowd, them feed their message, and we give them money to them, we give them support to them, and if somebody in you know, a different color t shirt, right? Remember, you know, the person is a supporter, you know. If a person in a different color t shirt than our color, what we like, our we support, mm -hmm. I've seen persons like that being killed again. We're not talking about a supporter, so so this is how inoculated Jamaicans are. So it's not no pandemic, no, no, you understand me. I remember, you know, Mr. Smith has been in Jamaica because he was living in Canada, he had been in Jamaica for a, a long while now, yes. Right now, what what is happening is we have access to media. Simple. Occultism ago in Jamaica, long time. Human sacrifice ago in long time. Gangs, the initiation of gangs in the eighties and the nineties. Right, you used to have to go up and kill a woman. A, 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 a woman. You're right, but I want to know how many high society people Kevin Smith worked for. That's why I want to. I hope the police don't just focus on the, the lower level people that he's working for because the amount of people he was sacrificing, he was sacrificing mm -hmm. for some kind of bigger for some big. I want to know how, 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 what's uh, you spoke about the, the link between even the, the politicians and cultism and um gangs and so on and they're making sacrifice because it keeps them in power, it keeps the gangs covered. A lot of occultism is going on in, in that little island. Too much, too much. <clears throat> so they, I, they, you know what I'm they, praying they... for? I pray that the most high will reveal every single occultism in Jamaica at every level. And that we, that, that as Bob Marley said, if your night should have turned today, I pray that the night will turn mm. today and we will see some people for who they are in the island. Because a Vanessa, lot of wickedness is going on. Vanessa, listen to me. I've been around long enough. Although I'm look young. Yes. I remember, I remember Ambassador Peter King and there were some mm -hmm. alleged tapes that the police had found. Right? Now, there were men of high levels, high society on these tapes doing heinous acts, allegedly doing heinous acts to young young people, underage people. Up to now, not one of these tapes have been revealed. Up mm. to now, not one arrest has been made. I remember, you, know, you can you find the video equipment and you find the video. So you don't need somebody to authenticate it. Because the video equipment was there. Mm. And the, 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 the CCTV cameras inside and outside the house was there. Right? Um, so if Mr. Smith are in a um, um, cult god, cult god, they call him now. You know. There's cult god now. Well, oh, I, I, I want to stop there because I was listening to Tony Matthew. No, I, no, I, 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 hold on. I was listening to Tony Matthew the other day. He said, Jamaica full of us so much God. You got bro God, Lester God, Vita God. And he said, 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 God. <laughs> country full of us so much god you know what i mean and and uh yeah. and, and, and he said something very powerful he, he's he, he, okay no, no 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 he said no 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 no
what he said was just because you got a few bad eggs, that doesn't mean to say all the churches are bad or something like that. That's what he was saying. That that's that's true. You know, and I had to really give him a, a fist for that. You know, I know. Let's. I know. I know that's true. I'm not because you know what I'm fine now. I love everybody. I go and like say, oh, that you know I do long time, and the whole I will know. It's not true. They are honorable people of God doing the work of God. But you do have occultism embedded in um every society. What in um are you every single society's got occultism going on in it? Um, um, you know, and every single race. Let me make that point here. Um, so well, every dog named egg, well, well, but all the one get catch well, well, a egg eater. Well, let me can make a point there. Um, one of the viewers um who said, I honestly don't understand how this past was chopping. Um, I'm making one million per week or so. I was watching a video and people were just running up to they were late for church or whatever it was. And they're running up giving money, man. And the guy was just saying, Listen, man, you your landlord, you know, you're a promoter. <laughs> Come out, they are saying you know, yeah. the same thing in every church, um, where you have to give ten percent, you, you have to pay tithe. And you have to no, no, I'm gonna be honest with you, and the church followers are not gonna agree what I have to say. It's my opinion. Mm. Um, I left Jamaica where I was born in Ocho. Uh, I'm from Ocho Rios where it's just the beach and all that stuff and the beautiful sunshine. Mm. I have and and we, and we dance to the funky music and stuff like that. Ocho <laughs> I have to work in America in the snow. And you're telling me I don't know why that. let's always shake his head when we mention Ocho Rios. Well, no, carry on, Vita. And, and I want to <laughs> tell you that. When 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 it's snow, I have to go there and work. Sometimes I am sick and barely get up to go to work. And I have to get up and go to work. And you're going to tell me that when I bust my you-know-what to go to work, I have to give you 10% of that to preach to me what I can read for myself. When I pray, I pray to me and my God. Mm. The Bible told me that I am. I'm within. I'm the temple of Well, God. the government's got to start looking at the regulation of churches and who say they are pastors. Um, because you know, there's got to be some kind of governance. Anybody can set up a little place and start collecting money. And um, you know, if you look on the radio now, them advertising what you call um, uh, so and so from in India with this kind of reading power. And um, the little Obia man down at Jamaica, now him there on at the back room. But the man from India, the parade, they are advertised for him. Something man, I call it something else. But you know, we know see how Obia and Baba this and so so all of them kind of things they are going, you know. We don't in the country, you know. That the Obia man is the church. Is the church? Like yeah. Well, well, I check now. Listen, this was witchcraft at the highest level, occultism and witchcraft. Um, um, and um, all of them, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful of them them kind of things because they're mixed. All of them kind of things that right, have them kind of things, they kind of deal with blood sacrifice. Let me, let me just, I, even them, yeah. how do I know yeah. that the church, that the, the church that, okay, you, you go to church, how do I know that church is not the one that is, is the situation? Not all the members know. How do I know when you tell me tonight, make sure you wear your white, you're not going to sacrifice me? How do well, I know that? Well, let's look at some of I'll tell you let, something. Mm. I don't, I don't, I don't mm. become a sheep to nobody. So people have mm. got to start being smart. Yeah. They got to open their eyes. Let's let's look at some couple couple comments here. Um, I honestly, okay, uh, people are gullible and they'll do anything for instant riches. It's the same narrative in the Nigerian movies, and they're now introducing the Jamaica church and cash machines. Upon that is what was happening. Pastors of the mm -hmm. centuries exploiting people. Uh, there, there's a thing which we have in Jamaica, which. We always talk about every Jamaican always say this, and they say, Miss Spirit, not take, you know, Miss Spirit, yep. not take that yes. person there. And, and they talk about gut feeling. Mm. Everybody have this thing called gut feeling. When I'm walking in the morning, I talk about the gut feeling. And, and, and I believe that sometimes we can always know when we ignore that gut feeling. We we'll always know when, you know, my mind will tell me, you know, the, it's sliding. my mind will tell me, you know, we know we shouldn't go to see enough. And I believe, Vita, and, and, and you know, when I go to church and I grew up in church and I'm in the church, I, I strongly believe that discernment is something which is lacking and discernment is something which is very important for people of God. And the Bible speaks about the sheep and it speaks about the wolves yes. and will come in at yes. the same time. The tares and the wheat and all those sort of things. That is something which is real. Yeah. So therefore... Uh, so you're right, Silbert. So you're right. Yeah. So because I, yeah. as Bob Marley said, preacher man, come tell me, even they are under the earth. Mm. I know you don't know what life is really worth. Mm. If you was to 
Saucy and psychoanalyze Bob Marley song, you know. Yeah. How somebody if you tell you, say, heaven the under the earth, mm. and you die, you go to heaven as Silas' name, Jesus' name, Muhammad name. So right now, if you just take a joke, are you dead? <laughs> are you go to heaven? You just go in an ark and them cut your throat, are you dead? Are you go under the earth? Mm. So do you understand the mindset of the people when it comes to manipulation at different levels, where people in leadership are telling you, if you die, you go to heaven, and yes, we do want to believe in God. We mm. do. We all believe in heaven. But you, the the Bible speaks about life a lot. And and to me, it's just a season of death where people are preaching death and justifying death and justifying sending people home early. It's got to stop. And mm. the pandemic, okay. the the pandemic is all wrapped up in this. You know, the whole manipulation from the pandemic. Uh, and let's say let's just and 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 listen. You know. One one of the situations we'll have to look at is the education system, right? I always fall back to the education system. You see, we we you you don't see these type of things that happen in nations or populations that are highly educated. You don't have these type of things happening. That in America, you, man, a lot no, of it, a lot of America that a society. No, 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 no. America that a society that's highly educated. That's that's a farce. No. Hollywood make it look like say absolutely America. Correct. Absolutely correct because they're yeah. dumbing down. There's the, the, the it, they're dumbing down of the Americans right now. There's yeah. a there's a, a a situation to dumb down of the America to dumb them so they don't think for themselves so they don't have critical thinking so they just just like the the, the cult they just follow. We don't have leaders. Yeah. But because, because remember, all right, again. People hang on to a Michael Manley. People hang on to a Edward Siaga. People hang on to Brogard now, right? And we see videos coming out where people say, "Why Brogard? My broke. I'm hungry and I want to start one bar." And people also have to look at persons in particular levels as some type of um, deity, some type of king, some type of savior, right? Now, when are we as a society going to have self-reliance to say, "Look here." And we have to create our own um, um, fortune, our own future. We, mm -hmm. we keep on as a society and look for somebody to create that that that, 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 that bailout, that savior. Great you God me? will come no. from the sky and take away every pain and make everybody no. feel high. To serve you, you Bob Marley. Serve yourself. Nobody. That's what we need to understand. You need to get up and do it and go out there and see more. Thank you for get up every morning and show that if I can do it, you can do it too. Mm. To go out there and yeah. do it for yourself, and that is the problem. We want somebody. Yeah, stop. Stop. Where's the handouts and and quick not, riches? And another thing, my mother always tell me. Hold on. You know mm. what my mother always say? Silburn was saying. My mother always said, don't follow wings of doctrine. And she always, we grew up in a charismatic church, she always said, don't allow everybody to put their, to, to put their hands on your head and, and try mm. to control your mind. So as a girl, I don't like people touching... I, I must tell you, I'm guilty. My hair is natural because I don't even like going to hairdressers too much. My, my hair, I don't like nobody. Hair, else. I don't natural, like natural. nobody in my head. My I do everything natural. for my head. I don't want nobody touching my head. And my mother hair. said, I've "Don't follow winds of doctrine." And as <laughs> Silburn was saying, Silburn said, mm. "Read the Bible for yourself. Mm. Understand it for yourself. And follow your spirit and discernment." And uh, come on, black people, we are spiritual people. Since when we are make people take charge of our spirituality? A time for we true, stop true, that. True. And, and I, that's what I. Said. When they use the word spirituality with the cult, and I'm saying no, use religious with the cult because spirituality is a whole different situation from come from within where you know, mm -hmm. you feel, you know. So that's what we need to do. Get back to our spirituality. Yeah. Get back to you. But Vita, Get back within. Vita, yes, Vita, let me ask the panel. Vita, something. But before you ask me, you realize I said something before you ask me. You look really, really cute tonight. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I've have to change I have to change and drink the, the milk too, you know. <laughs> That's it. I have to change the music. I have to change the music. I, and, I, and I wanna say you said you're drinking milk, but if you want milk, I got milk. <laughs> I'm drinking rum and red bull. I change I change. I change the music. <laughs> yes, Lester, that's your music. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> Vita, Vita make me a blush for life. I can't even. Life. I, I can't even stop the music. His cheek is getting red. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, <laughs> but but, <laughs> but, but, but uh, uh, no, you see, every time we have some type of national crisis, the church, the church body is silent every time. Mom is the word, right? Mm. Mom. I, I've never seen a, a massive or a national event occurred in Jamaica and the church and the United Council of Churches and I have friends that sit on that council, you know, come out. I mean, I talk, but make a statement. Make a statement. No, I'm not this talking, is I'm, not us. No, I'm yeah, not talking about yourself. No, but, but I'm not talking about making a statement. We're tired of statement now. You understand me? Action. That. Action. Now, what we have seen happen is that when Supreme Ventures took over the lottery in Jamaica, and then they started to have um, Sunday lottery, right? When Cayman as part limited CTL wanted to have racing on Sunday, right? The church came out in full force against it. When they wanted to introduce casino gambling, right? The church come out against casino gambling. But when we have a little eight-year-old girl or a five-year-old boy in our bed. That is shot through the, through, through the window and killed. We don't hear anything. Yeah, right? Diana, when we have, when it, Jesus name. When, when we have the hear. miscarriage of justice. We have the miscarriage of justice by Patrick Powell, the X6 man who killed Kajil Myers, right, in 2010. We don't hear anything at all about it. I can, I can go on and on. I can go on and on. I can go on and on. I can I can I can go on and on with many people. Right. The church as a body is quiet. And when, uh, when when the government say in order to say if we can um maintain the health of the people and, and, and the public safety and do your vaccine, the church came out and marched against the vaccine. Are you not marching against some guy raping all the little boys? What kind of church? Well, how much church, church people come out about vaccine? Not, uh, not me never know uh, two little people. The, the majority of church people don't come out about nothing at all. Mm. Just, They're dying and going to heaven in Jesus' Vanessa, name. Vanessa, Vanessa, I what? I can send you videos upon videos. I can send you at least 10 videos with the church in Jamaica and the church people protesting against the vaccine. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Yeah, because okay. that is that is I tell you what is that is selfish yeah. because they don't because it's affecting their own personal body, then they're doing it for personal gains. And that's how this church has become. That is how the church have gotten to where it is today. They are divided and they are selfish and self seeking, so the wolves have been thriving among the sheep. Okay, so that's what's going so on. What what is the what is the best way forward then? Um what do you guys believe is the best way to deal with this Kevin Smith? Do you think he's going to get off because of the fact that he's so highly linked with persons? S Silburn, yes. Silburn, be a stone with me, I see. And I have one of my journalists bridging. I watch it keenly and I get some tips. Two of my journalists bridging them. Look here. They went to the man's house. This happened on Sunday. Yeah. They, they attempted to go to his house on Thursday. And I'm saying, how can you, the police in Montego Bay, will leave a stone throw away from the house, right? You take what, mm -hmm. four or five days to go to the house, and when you go, the gate is locked. So you have to go back and get a search warrant. Then they will go with a search warrant, you know. So but, what, 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 what I'm saying is that from what yeah. I'm seeing here, it looks like, it, it look like somebody Lappy. somebody is dropping the ball purposefully. Is Kevin Smith, yeah. get, get, is Kevin Smith, is Kevin Smith really get... So the, the list of clients can be hidden, man. You know what? You know what? Let me tell you, well, you know. Well, no, no. But, the, 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 but how come the police... You don't know yeah. what I work for. But how, but how come the police... Yeah. How them taking him with them when they go into the house? Me not understand the one there as well. I <laughs> <laughs> not understand. I <laughs> not understand. I'm telling you. Some, 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 some things that... The corruption of Jamaica... And the level yeah. of police and the level of people, the amount of them take with the fool. The amount of you know, people, see a style, they must style way. The amount of they must style way. The amount of people that um is involved with this guy. Are oh, we wrapping up now, Jamaica, ladies and gentlemen? Saturday night, as we shut down the show now, being a chill one. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, listen, guys. I mean, there's so much answers that is needed, you know. But the key thing that came out tonight, though, which um, and and Emika also said it as well, is that, uh, and and you said it as well, um, you know, Vanessa, the gut feeling, the gut instinct, we got to go back to that thing called the gut. Every Jamaican knows this. Follow your follow your mind. Follow your mind. Follow your follow your spirit. Follow, My spirit is wrong enough. 
Yeah, but we used, to, we used gut. to see a song that's on now. Yeah, the gut instinct. You know, blogging God. Look who, okay, look who is the MP for that area. We need to go back and listen to Bob Marley, man. Make Bob Marley tell us that ever no under the earth. Who is the MP for that area? No, ever no under the earth. Lester, who is the MP for that area? Yeah. Well, okay, yeah. No, no, somebody's speaking. Lester, who is the MP for that area? I, I, have, I have nothing to say, sir. No, no, no. Who do you mean? That's public notice, the MP. Who is the MP? I'm sorry. Who is the MP? Come on, this is, if it's public. Don't guess, sir. Who is the MP? Come on, I'm not leaving till less than ten the MP. <laughs> <laughs> Mita, who's the MP? Me not know. It's, it's, it's a Chinese guy, Chung, right, Lester? It's Chung. Is it Chung? Is it Chung the one that's fighting with the arm? But isn't he the with, Minister with, of with, National with Security? The Maroons? Is that, isn't that him? Isn't he the Minister of National Security? I thank you very much. That's why the guy gonna walk free. But hang on a second. I know. Maroon them Kiarang, you know. But hang on, that's but the maroon them the not the spirit and not the Kiarang, yeah. you know, cause them could have a maroon land go slaughter nobody. Well, 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 them could have got shot up the floor. But some them can't whoop a maroon land go do that. I heard about that. Vanessa, hold on, Vanessa, Vanessa, hold on. There's no maroon land in Jamaica. Crown land do one of them. Whatever you want to call it, just don't put the maroon them in. But when when I was there, I'm building a crown land. A crown land. All right, all right. 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 I understand the technicality where you are going down. And we can't get legal and technical, but may I tell us, say, you see, up where Maroon them live, me I be a Jamaican tonight, me not a legal thing. You see, up away, Nanny and him, him friend them come from up in a, up there, so where, where Chief, where any and they come out, Richard Curry come from, the man say, no, I can't be up there, so. I don't care, I call this from bus, nobody throw it. Because them not gullible and vulner vulnerable up there, so. The maroon, them have them head well tucked on them body. I don't care how but technical you want to get with did what. You know that, did you know that the maroon visit that church a couple of days before the, 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 the... That's what I heard. I heard that thing. I heard that thing. But did I, you I, know that, man? I man, room man, them, I, I try them all, come try the maroon, them in night and mix them up. No, no, the maroon, them must be going to purge it out. Don't mix up chief, don't mix up the chief with them things, you know. Don't mix up chief, I like them and tell on him. Vanessa, you know that. They must go to the project, but it never works. Vanessa, one of Vanessa, do you know that the Jamaica Constabulary Force go up a maroon, a cop, the whole of them, and run through it already? Overtake it already? A ball, the Jamaica, just a Jamaica ball, and make the police them leave? So, so when yeah. people keep, one of one, 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 Vanessa, people keep making it look like, say, um, which part chief corridor and uh, a compound town or maroon town is a part of Jamaica. It's still a part of Jamaica governed by the government of Jamaica, right? Mm. Because they use Jamaican yeah. dollar and they use Jamaican services like you water and light. You know what I like about the whole maroon thing? All right, I'm not saying never have some maroon people where they, where they stay bad, you know. Don't go to the days, so. I, but you have someone who really help we all for free with self. I'm going to tell you something. Me have utmost respect for people who can come out and say, we don't want this and we don't want that. Even if they, me not care what it happened, but right here now, sometimes maybe them go up there when they're not in the mood for war. But you see right here now, I will leave a Jamaicans militant. As the sister say, you hear what the sister say? You never listen. Well, if a Jamaican now take certain things, you know. We're not you, have, you have some media that don't have eh? but you see the massive of Jamaica. Any day Jamaica people put on put on them foot. They must not think that we are cowards. Mm. Any day Jamaica put on them foot and say not one foot further. We know we see. Because everybody are taking for food, but we are not known. That, that, that's the fact that the way that we stand up for our rights, right? Isn't that what we do? So the fact I said, I am very emotionally attached to the old Jamaican situation, is that it's either or either. We're going to take matters mm. into our own hands. That's okay. Time. Well, guys, listen, I want to thank you so much for joining tonight. And I believe it is a very interesting show. Um, but not just for the sake of show. I mean, I definitely brought in someone who talked about... Very um, fruitful discussion. Yeah, fruitful discussion. Talking about solution and look at ways how one can have alternative ways of income in light of the potential lockdown. But Gwenton Soli said... The prime minister is not going to lock down the country because I'm not trying to rich friend them. <laughs> I'm going to lose money. But, 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 but Silburn, yeah. la last thing, last thing for the solution thing there. Mm. I mean, listen, um, you see, and, and that is why the cer certain associations are important that we empower them, right? Yes. The parent teachers, the parent teachers association is important. The, the old boys are the passing association is important. We, we have persons who, like, like yourself, myself, Vita, Vanessa, who have the, 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 the technical know-how or, or the, 
the, the, the know-how how to create income for ourselves. We are a part of school systems. We are part of communities back in Jamaica. We need to enforce and ensure that this information is passed on into the school system where people no longer say, I want to pass two subjects to go work for somebody. Yes, Remember you said, yes. the feeling that you had, Silburn, yeah. when your job was on the line there. Not only, not only your job, you know, your livelihood mm. was on the line there. That feeling is not a good feeling. I've been there. When, 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 when they say it, it kind of short because I've been there before when I talk to the manager and he tell me, say, boy, you know, <laughs> you forgot to let me go. What, what, mm. what we need is that these small associations being empowered, coming to the school, coming to the community, I say, listen, there's, there's a different way, right? There are things that you can do that you can empower yourself. You don't have to go to one, one, one brick and mortar and steel and block and sit around a table or, you know, a factory or something. You can empower yourself. That's one of the key messages that we need to start pushing yes. in Jamaica. Mm. Self-reliance, also thinking outside of the box, yes. right? There's lots of things out there that you can do and use. Mm. Lots of information. As I say, you know, uh, we, we're all into crypto. You understand me? We're all into stocks and shares and stuff like that. There's so many avenues there that we can um, venture into. See a problem? One of the easiest ways. Elon Musk has said this. Right? Warren Buffett has said this. Bill Gates have said this. All these guys have said this. You see a problem. And what you do, you create the solution for the problem. That's all you know. And you know this, and you, and you know this girl, this lady here, I, I find that so inspiring. I, read, I think about that week ago or two weeks ago. You guys, when I said you, you remember it, she was sitting outside the courtroom and that's your business. And she saw that people were actually getting kicked out of court because they weren't dressed properly. So what she did, she started wearing suit okay. and wearing clothes. For people to go to court yes and i said wow she I saw something this, yes? and she quickly jumped at it when i was getting mad yep. when i was getting mad and i was thinking about should i buy this expensive suit and then i linked with jamaica and somebody said there's a lady in Ochoers that rent suits yep virgin i went to jamaica and Ochoers and rent my suit a watch virgin yep What's the sense of what, what, what's the sense of buying some expensive suit and then have to go for an honeymoon a, a, a Jamaica virgin? Yes, sir, with my wife. You know what I mean, virgin. <laughs> so we got to think very ingenious ways. You know what I mean? So uh, who's that? Ben Vanessa went. Okay. Well, v Vita went. Oh, Vita went. Vita went. Yeah. So yeah, listen, guys. Listen. Thank you so much, Lester. Thank you. Don't go. And for all the different persons, blogging God, let's say we talk after, yeah? Um, Thank you. Yeah. So, peace out. Thank you, guys. Respect. Big up, Sylvia. Yeah, let's up. We talk later. Yeah, cheers, man. Bye bye. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for joining tonight for this exciting show. You know, powerful, discussing, life changing things. I like to try to make sure that the conversation end somehow with some solutions and somehow with something empowering but it's important that we all speak it's important that we all share our thoughts in a lovely setting just like at the rum bar but not the rum bar um a virtual with some drink water and uh and some wine and i hope you actually tune in and if you can go back and listen to the discussion with um donovan smart and his wife looking at different solutions 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 that's very key and another thing with all this thing about cult and church and everything gut we always talk about all the while that gut instinct you know the spirit not take that person there you know what i'm trying to say you know i mean i like that person there something in me and you know what you always know and you always remember when you go against that gut instinct when you go against that gut feeling because you'll say, I knew it. I knew that day. I knew that moment when I should not have made that move. All right? Walk and talk in the morning. <laughs> but listen, tomorrow night, I'll be having at 9 o'clock on YouTube with Paul Chambers. Paul Chambers, I'm talking about the, the poppy, poppy appeal. There's a poppy appeal. Let me just um, say that quickly. Jamaica Legion's poppy appeal, gospel concert, 30th of October. Tomorrow night, we're going to talk about it with Paul Chambers, all right? 
Have a good night. Peace out and good night. Boom. And of course, that state of cash. Beautiful, lovely, nice jazz all the way from South Africa. I'll let you hear one more bit of it. Thank you.